HVH on the beat, boy. Yeah, I just made this YouTube and it's popping. Dropping content weekly, I ain't stopping. John Zill, say my name, run it up, 100K. Welcome back to part two of the series, how to record in Studio One is what I'm going to show you guys in this video. Um, if you guys haven't already checked out part one, make sure you guys check out part one because it's going to show you how to configure the audio setup. Uh, speaking of audio setup, I had to configure mine. So I was listening to my quality and I'm like, uh, it needs an upgrade. So I just brought my studio mic over here and I'm going to do some more upgrading. But look, in the meantime, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate the feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, like I said, in this, I'm going to just add tracks. So um, what you're going to do is go to New Song and uh, Empty Song, Song Title. You just call it New Song 1. And right here, this is where you uh, save where you want it to go. So like, if you have an external hard drive or something, or a specific place where you want to save it, I suggest finding that. But uh, otherwise, it goes straight to your documents. And then you hit open, but I'm going to hit cancel. I really don't need it anywhere because I'm just, just messing around. You can leave all this the same because this is going to change in Studio One anyway. And yeah, make sure this is on. Stretch audio file to song tempo. Especially when... You guys didn't hear me. You see how I had to switch because I'm going to add a track. So I forgot to mention that. I'm going to add a track, and then you guys are going to hear me when I add a track. So just pay attention. I won't be able to talk, but I'm going to switch over to the session we were at. Okay, I'm back. You see that? Pretty easy, right? So I went to track. I went to add mono. So this is the quick way I did it. Uh, the other way you can do it is you can also do it through a stereo or a mono track. So that's going to be our first lesson. You can go stereo, and you see it's coming out the right or the left. So left, or you can go mono, ba ba ba, or you could just press it and it'll change like that. Change. So. But you don't hear nothing. You see what I'm saying? When I press off this. Now, I can... Now, let me just go ahead and tell you. So, this is a, a mute button. You don't hear nothing. And then, uh, here's a solo. So, you'll still hear. This is the record button. And this is the monitor. So, you can still record. You won't be able to hear with this blue thing off. Watch. Watch while I talk. So, yeah. That's how you do it. And then... uh. You can have as many tracks as you want. You can turn them all on. Um, but, yeah, so that's how you add a track. To record, you would click, so you would turn on the track that you want, and then you would click this record button. And there it is. Yo, A. And check it out, watch. And there it is. Yo, A. So I'm not going to go into effects in this video. I'm just going to stick with how to add tracks. And I'm going to just kind of just go around there. And we'll save the mix in for like part four or something like that. All right. So stay with me. Okay. So that's how you record. Um, and let me just kind of tell you the tools around recording. So here you have a volume. If you want this to be louder. And there it is. Yo. A. So you see that controls. Man, I got to get keep it down here I got to get used to that because it's cutting me off and this is a new configuration so all right so um I'm just looking at my notes over here because I want to make sure I get so yeah the tools your zap you can um do your gain envelopes so you right click your track that you recorded and go to gain envelope and uh you can click different parts if you want it to be quieter and louder so you can do that um uh, also, this is important. Look at how you can zoom in. If you need to zoom in, you're like this far away. Follow my mouse down here, and I'm right in there, bringing it over. And you see how it zooms in. And if you want this to be enlarged to make it bigger, you click down here, and you spread it right there. So now your coarser, 
it's more visible. And there it is. Yo. And there it is. <laughs> and yeah, with the gain envelope, you could turn down parts. And there it is. Yo. Just make your points. Set them in the middle. And there it is. Yo. A. Um, so yeah. Also, this is your fader. So let me delete this. To delete, let me control Z. Um, to delete, I just highlighted it and I uh I press D. So I just clicked it. Um you could also just go here to the erase um and do that. So let me tell you about your tools up here before I tell you about the fader thing. Um you have the arrow right here. This is the arrow tool, but it's also linked to the range tool. So the thing that's linking it is this. So it's cool because when you want to make chops and you want to make cuts, you have both of these on. You could just, oh, let me see. Both of these on. Why is it doing, here we go. You can, hmm. Sorry, this thing ain't cutting. It's acting weird. It's probably because I'm trying to cut an envelope. So let me see. Let me see. Yo, yo, hey. Yo, okay, so double cut, a double uh, click, and then I can click here at the bottom and press backspace and delete that. But that's what this allows me to do. Also, I can, so you see at the top, it looks like a plus sign, and at the bottom, it looks like a select. So at the bottom, I can select something and drag it, but at the top, I hover over it, and I can go at the bottom and cut it like that too. So this thing is pretty pretty uh, versatile okay and then uh, this is your split tool so if you don't want these two to be linked just click this and you got your arrow tool your range tool which yeah will work the same way um, anywhere and then you got your split tool you got here you can cut things move things around you got your uh, eraser tool erase stuff um, you got your uh, pencil tool or paint tool to where you can really, this is good for like automation. I'm not sure um, if you're familiar with automation, you've heard about automation, but I did videos on automation. You can check that out. Um, and this is for like uh, muting. This will mute your stuff just like this does. But this mutes your entire track. If I click this, it doesn't mute my the track. It's just muting. You feel me? The the what I recorded, and then this right here is a bend tool, so you can move the entire track like that, or you can click two spots and just blend that spot. Uh, this is a listening tool, so if you click and you hold, you can hear what you recorded. Yo, oh, a a, okay. Hope I'm not moving too fast, but um, so those are your those are your basic tools right there. Now let me show you the fade. Yeah. Now I just did that so you can see. You can come up here and bring it down like that, and watch. Yeah. So it made it quieter. You could even grab the middle here. And yeah. Do. So there's that. Same thing at the beginning of the track. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Um, okay, let me look at my notes. Okay, next one I'm going to show you is how to import your track because you got to record that over a beat. So let's import file. There's two ways you could do this. So if you're a drag and drop guy like me, then you're just going to go over here to your beat, wherever your beat's at. And uh, let me go over here. And you can just drag it. But make sure you don't drag it on these files. Make sure you drag it on a, its own file because it's a playback track. Let it go. And now you, you uh, it's right here, you see it. So, let's expand it, make it bigger. Here's the problem you're gonna run into, especially if you're using Studio One 5, because that stretch to audio thing is already on. All right, so here's how you do it. You're gonna uh, find a tempo, because right now it's gonna be too fast if I play it. Too fast, so it, it lets me know because of this little setting thing right here. 
So I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right here. Let me get out of that because I double clicked it. And you hear me out the left coming back in the middle. It's because it keeps switching me to that. So sorry, you guys, if that's bothering somebody out there. But um, yeah, so what was I at? Oh, yeah, tempo. So let's slow it down, down here on tempo. And I believe the tempo is 103. But if you don't know what the tempo is, this disappeared. So it's the right tempo. So now, it's good. If I were to, um, wanted to just double check it, I can click the metronome and that's it, it's on beat. And if you're like, man, it's on beat but it's a little off, click this toggle snap up top and then bring this. It's because, it's because, uh, zoom in. It's because this little space right here. So let's grab it. I'm coming out the left right now. But grab it to like right there. And then slide it over. There we go. We're in there. So that's on beat. And that's pretty much eight times out of 10 what you're going to run into. But yeah. It's on beat. Even when it drops. That's what we want. So, uh, okay. So, now if you wanted to record, let's go back and let's just record something. So, there's uh, a pre-count that you can use down here next to the metronome. It's this little circle. This gives you a four count so it don't just start you right in. So, if I were to hit record, one, two, three. Yeah. Hey, uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. All right. So I hit space bar to stop, or you can just stop it with this. And then, uh, well, I'm not going to turn mine off because I'm talking to you, but normally you can turn it off or whatever. And then let's play it back. Yeah. Hey, space bar. Uh huh. Is what press play and stop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. So, yeah. Then you can go on the next one. You can turn this off, and I'm ready to go on this one. Here we go. Now, if you don't want that pre count on, just turn it off. Yeah. Hey. 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 Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Ad libs. That's. Yeah. Pretty much just to give you an idea. Hey. Hey. Hey, uh-huh, uh, 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 let's uh. go. So these are at the same volume. And uh, again, I'm not going to get into the mixing. I'm not going to get into the effects, but uh, you have the volume control right here. So you can, you hear me going down, but this is your ad-libs if you want these quieter. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. uh-huh. Uh, uh. And again, you can turn it down right here if you want to keep this at zero. If you feel better with it at zero, you can just turn it down up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wifey's going to love me for this. Color. So if you're like, man, this is my rap track. This is going to be your your color. So I know my raps are, are dark blue. And then uh, you can name it up here and rap. You can right click and name it right here. Rap. Okay, now. Since you're with me, and again, like you want you want that gain envelope thing, just click gain envelope, and you're right there. Um, and by the way, the paint works for the gain envelope. So like, that's the kind of stuff what I mean by automation. Just wanted you to know, you're like, oh man, that's a quick way to do it. This is on freehand. If you click this, like you can choose how you want it to be. So just wanted to throw that out there, but those are the gain envelopes. That's how you get it. Um, and if you wanted to like, um, all right, let me look at my notes because I don't want to. I don't want to get sidetracked over here. All right, uh, merge. Okay, so let's just say. Oh, let me get off here. Let's just say you got this track split, and it's somewhere over here, and you want these to merge. Then you can highlight all of it, and either press G or right click and go to merge. Okay, real quick before I end this video, I want to make something real clear. 
um, because you guys might have questions. You remember I was telling you guys about the song tempo thing and like when you're importing your beat. So if you just want to avoid all that and you don't care about the metronome and syncing it, uh, then what you do, let's just go to uh, song, go to, um, I'm sorry, track, and go to add audio track. So it just gave you a new audio track, then go to song, import file, you locate it, mine was in desktop, desktop folder, boom, hit OK, open, drag it over. So let's just say this was at 120. Like it like it starts off when you make a new song. 120, right? So as you can see, this uh thing is uh, this uh it looks like a setting thing right here is on and so that means it's the wrong tempo so it's going to be too fast so what I do to fix that is go to the I the inspector and go to tempo make sure this is clicked this track 3 is clicked and then go to don't follow so you saw it move now and you saw this disappear now it's at 101 even though this is at 120 it's off. The click, the click ain't working. Anymore. But you're good. It's off the metronome. But yeah, so you just click the inspector to I, and you go to tempo, and it'll. You can either do a uh, time stretch or don't follow. So I wanted to tell you guys about that, and also I wanted to show you how to uh, import it. I just had to tell you guys that because I was. I don't want to end this video, and I'm like. Man, like, I forgot to tell him that part, so, yeah. Um, track color, I describe it. I think, I think that's it. If I'm missing anything, you guys let me know. This should be good for you recording. You can add as many tracks as you want. If you want to duplicate, you can right-click and duplicate track right there. And just keep going, so, yeah. Bear with me. Uh, part three is about to come out. I'm going to try to get it out tomorrow. Shoot, probably even tonight. I don't know, but... I thank you guys. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I can't just do that anymore. Now I'm aware. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, I appreciate the love. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Go ahead and do your thing. Record in Studio One. Add as many tracks as you want. There's parts that, there's things that I didn't show you that I'm sure you could check out in my other videos. Please comment. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Like this video also. And uh, man, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.